In this video, you are going to learn how to learn Arabic by yourself. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa brother Muhammad al Andalusi, founder of AndalusInstitute.com, an institute where we teach people how to go from zero to native fluency in the Arabic language. All right, so today, like I said, we are going to learn how to learn Arabic by yourself because it is actually possible. However, before getting to that capability, you need a skill or a couple of skills, basically. So it's just like anything else. Like, for example, are you able to go to the gym and sculpt your body in a way by yourself? Yes, you are able to do so. However, you will need to know certain things before you actually go into the battlefield. So just like many other things, things you need preparation before you can actually do that thing so first of all let me tell you the three things that you need before you go into the battlefield and start learning Arabic or enhancing or improving your Arabic by yourself. Now, first of all, you need to learn how to read and write. Obviously, for learning any language, you learn how to read, you learn how to write. It's going to be skills that you will need in order for you to keep growing, to keep improving your Arabic. The second thing that you will need is understand how important it is for you to memorize vocabulary. And after these three steps, I'm going to explain a little bit more. And third point is to understand how important is memorizing Tulathi verbs and Spanish. Now I explain from one to three. What do I mean by that? First of all, you know, learn how to read and write. Very important. Now there is a question that always comes into people's minds when we talk about reading and writing, which I actually spoke about in another video, which you can check how to read without harakat, without vowels. Yeah, I man. I got it, bro. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. And in a nutshell, you cannot read without harakat, without vowels, if you don't have enough vocabulary. You need to learn how to read and learn how to write. And you don't need to be a master to have this skill in order for you to start learning Arabic by yourself. But you need to at least know how to do it without mistakes, even if it's slowly. And even if you have to think twice before doing it. Because that's the first thing. The second thing is understand how important it is for you to memorize vocabulary. And I have actually prepared to share the screen with you guys here. And I will show you inside of of our program. For example, this one, just to show you guys what I mean by memorizing vocabulary, even though I speak about it in every single video, I think, because it's just so important and people, they neglect it a lot. So here, for example, in this dars, is the dars about al-usra, about family. Here, this is all the vocab that came in that particular lesson. As you can see up here, we have the singular noun. We have two plurals of that particular noun. And some of them, as you can see, they have a synonym. The synonym itself, it has a plural. Some of them, they have an opposite. An antonym and the antonym as well has a plural we take advantage of any opportunity that we get to memorize even more vocabulary through synonyms antonyms and the plurals of those synonyms and those antonyms and that's why our students mashallah tabarakallah allahumma barik fihim wa yazid fi rizqihim they become very good at speaking and having a lot of vocabulary those who put in the effort here for example you have a slave Abdun and Ibadun. So you go ahead and memorize Abdun, slave. You go ahead and memorize Ibadun, which is the plural of slave. And then you memorize the synonym, which is Raqiqun and Ariqa. Ariqa is the gem of Raqiq. And I explained in this particular lesson that Raqiq means other things as well. And Hurrun, it would be the opposite, which would as well mean someone who's free. Someone who obviously doesn't have a master. And this same uh, word has a plural as well. Ahrar, as you can see here. The student, before he goes to the next lesson, so as you can see, per lesson on average, you get how many? You get verbs, you get the nouns, and you get as well uh, ta'birat or, you know, expressions, which you guys are very big on Arabic expressions, which, by the way, we're going to take advantage of this opportunity to plug the series that we have going on on my Instagram. And that's the only place I post this because they are very quick to do, very quick to benefit. And once you have already a level, you can benefit a lot from these. Expressions are something that will make you more fluent in a language. Expression, knowing how to speak with metaphors and knowing how to speak how the native people speak and using their same expressions. You mean something, but you say it in another way. That gives you more fluency. So go ahead, follow me on Instagram. We have many episodes to come. We have all up until now 15 episodes. There's going to be hundreds of hundreds of them, inshallah. So go ahead and check that out. But yeah, going back to how we do it. You go 
go ahead, memorize the nouns, memorize the verbs, memorize the ta'birat, the expressions. And then per lesson, as you can see on the first few lessons, at least you have what on be in between 25 and 50 lexical items. So the student doesn't jump to the next lesson until he has mastered this vocabulary. So this is the second point that I was talking about. Before you learn Arabic by yourself, you need to understand what do we mean by memorizing vocabulary. If you read in, I don't even have a book around here. But if you read in and you come across a word that maybe they have used the plural of it. Okay, if you just memorize the singular and the plural comes in a text, how are you going to understand? So you need to know if somebody throws at you, Ibadun, you need to know, okay, it's the plural of Abdun, which means slave. And this whole process of thinking this needs to become automatic. You have done it so much, so much, so much that you it becomes automatically. I explain all of this, obviously, in the in the program in Andrews Institute, how to successfully complete a lesson. I tell you guys as well how to memorize because through my three years of experience running Andrews Institute, teaching the Arabic language, I've realized that many students, they don't even know how to memorize, which is something in the beginning, I was like, okay, you just memorize it. But it's something that, subhanAllah, it needs to be explained as well which is fine but i teach you guys as well how to memorize and basically in a nutshell obviously i'm not gonna take all the time in this video to let you know this because this will be a video in within itself but basically just repetition you need to repeat as much as possible i tell the students repeat at least 250 times and actually before they complete a lesson here, uh, when they go and complete an assessment, I will show you guys real quick because this is actually very funny. I tell them before uploading your homework and moving on to the next lesson, make sure you have completed the next step. If you answer the next four questions is no, there's no point in you continuing the assessment. So I ask them, did you repeat at least 250 times each noun in and its plurals? And now know it like you know Al-Fatiha. If they say yes, then I ask them about the verbs and then yes. And then I ask them about, you know, the memorization. So yeah, guys, I'm I'm not going to show you a lot because there's a lot of people out there, a lot of biters. They always want to buy my style and they always want to copy Andalus Institute because it's like water and so fluid and so flowy and so I don't like to show a lot because I don't like people to copy me but yeah we have set up the system so you make sure that you are doing the correct steps in order for you to memorize so why am I showing you this every time that I have the chance to, to show off my program and you know what we have going on in Andres Institute I would take the opportunity to do so but I'm showing you this because I want you to understand what do I mean by memorizing vocabulary you can do this by yourself okay yes a system and how having somebody who keeps you accountable and having a particular roadmap, it will help you a lot because I mean, it's somebody who did it that's helping you do it. But you can do this by yourself. If you are strong-willed and you are disciplined, etc., you can do this by yourself. Learn how to read and how to write. If you type on YouTube, I'm pretty sure you, I learned how to read and how to write by myself in two weeks and I didn't have any experience, any knowledge, any nothing. Learning how to memorize and how to memorize and as soon as you understand the concept, I need to memorize nouns, plurals, verbs, it's bad patterns, etc, etc, which we're going to go into the verbs now, then it's just about reading. There is hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of books for children with vowels, with a bunch of vocabulary, and you just need to take every single vocabulary and look into the dictionary what that means, which I will show you in this video again, so stick until the end. And again, stick until the end so the whole video makes sense, because otherwise it doesn't make sense for me to say certain things right now if you don't wait until I explain them. Alright, let's go into memorizing. Once you know how to memorize uh, nouns, then you memorize the patterns of Tasrifat or conjugations, okay? Verb conjugations. This is very important that you memorize it like this. And you repeat it 250 times until that becomes second nature. And you memorize, most importantly, the patterns for the Thulathi ones, the ones that have three letters. Okay, so here you have them. So you need to know that there is fa'ala and yaf'alu. And then there is fa'ala and yaf'ilu. And then there is fa'ila and yaf'ulu. And then there is fa'ila and yaf'alu. And then there is fa'ila and yaf'ilu. And then there is fa'ula and yaf'ulu. Okay, once you know this once, which to be honest with you, there are many teachers who just push the student to memorize this pattern. I personally think, and I tell my students to just keep memorizing. Don't even focus about the patterns. Don't even look for patterns. Just memorize, just memorize, just memorize. Memorize wala da yalidu lead wiladatun. Memorize sha'a yasha'u sha'a. Memorize salla yusalli salli. Memorize sallam yusallim yusallim. And after 10 
lessons, after memorize a good chunk of vocabulary, you will realize that, whoa, now every time I come across a new verb, my mind automatically and naturally finds the pattern already. Wow, this is amazing. And that's how it is. We are creatures of habit. If you get your brain the habit of doing something, it will come naturally later on. So in the beginning, it will look difficult, it will sound difficult, but later on, it will become very easy. And what I recommend you is to not focus on patterns, okay? There are many students who are just about patterns. I need just need patterns, I just need patterns. Me personally, I just would recommend trust the process and memorize. Keep memorizing vocabulary and you will see that that will come alone. And then the ta'birat, the expressions, very important. Again, like I told you guys, once you already have vocabulary, knowing and learn about expressions, which these ones are very simple, most of the people knows them, but the type of expressions that I give you guys on my Instagram, for example, those are the ones that will make you even more fluent. All right, so this is the second point. Then the third point, yeah, the third point, that was it, memorizing patterns and memorizing verbs, okay? So once you know how to read, how to write, uh, the importance of memorizing and then memorizing nouns and then memorizing verbs and its conjugations, then boom, you'll have the skills to learn Arabic by yourself. Now, what do you do once you know Arabic by yourself. Once you know these three skills, what you want to do is read as much as possible. Now, I will show you the screen again. What do we do in our program? Again, just so I show you guys what you're supposed to be doing. And this is could be done by yourself or you can get someone to help you out as well. So I will show you guys how we do it in our program, how we read text and how we extract vocabulary based on those skills. So the student, first of all, I will show you the library. First of all, the student goes ahead and goes through module number one, the necessary knowledge to read and write. The student here learns how to read and write on average two weeks. Yeah, on average two weeks. Then he goes ahead to module number two. Module number two is the main part of the whole program. Then what we do in the lessons, basically what I do is I read text, as you can see. Uh, and the words that you see that are highlighted in red are the words that the student doesn't know that are new in that particular lesson. So for example, if I go to lesson 27, on the 53, for example, you will see that here the student, and this is like so logical. Look at all these texts that is not highlighted. Lighted. Only the red is the things that the student doesn't know here. So this means that all up until here, he has been memorizing vocab, 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 vocab. At this point, he understands all of this. Oh, muhtajan. I don't know this word. Oh. So here, because you have these skills, you know how to read and write. You know the importance of memorizing vocabulary, which you have been seeing, because as you can see, the things that are not highlighted, the student already knows. And you know the importance of memorizing tasrifal conjugations, which the student have been doing in here what do you do like for example and this is going to conclude this video now i will show you how to learn arabic by yourself so now you are reading you the same thing that i do for you in this video lessons and they are video lessons because it's basically just me reading and explaining to you in a very vast and well explained so you don't have to do that so you don't have to look for the word but i will show you how to actually look for the word so once you know how to read know the importance of memorizing vocabulary you know the importance of memorizing conjugations etc you come across a word you will be reading by yourself and you come across a word muhtajan. and because you have memorized so many conjugations you know that muhtajan is the ism al maf'ul for ihtajja ihtajja yahtajju and you will be able to come up with this by yourself as well ihtajja yahtajju ihtajj ihtiyajun muhtajun muhtajun oh and the fa'il and the maf'ul is the same okay cool 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 or once you come across a word that you don't know what you want to do is to go to a dictionary so for example here we have al ma'ani okay al ma'ani is an arabic dictionary online Arabic dictionary and to be honest you have everything that you need you just need to be aware of certain things like for example certain dictionaries are not from the classical Arabic language there are different researches that you do in a dictionary right if you already have a word and you just want to know the meaning and the tasrif the pattern or the conjugation it's fine you don't need to worry about the dialects etc you can just type you go ihtajja, and then it will give you here the meaning etc etc okay we're gonna get into this now but if you want to look for example if you are looking for a word like you have an English word in mind and you want to know how to say in Arabic in that case it becomes a little bit tricky and what I would recommend you is refer back to a person that speaks English stop it get some help I mean that's me to a person that speaks Arabic because they are going to be able to tell you that's what it says in the dictionary but Arabs use it like this and it will always prevail on what dictionaries say because the dictionary will give you a translation but maybe they are thinking about another or they are referring to another context and you're looking for a different context which might be a 
cultural context or particular context that you are asking about like for example we in english we say like this how do you say that in arabic but one thing that pops to mind now there was a student asking how do you say backwards i only find this in the dictionary and he kept finding things that they are not even used in arabic we had to tell him no you that's how you say mustabbira or mustabbira al hadaf and that's something you're not gonna find in a dictionary it needs to come with with a person that that already knows arabic that's why there are few parts in the language it will bring me to the conclusion of this video as well that yes you can learn by yourself but to a certain extent because there are certain things that only someone that is already at the level of native fluency will be able to tell you about this or that that a dictionary might not be able to tell you anyways once you find a word that you don't understand you come to al-ma'ani you type ihtajja and it will tell you ihtajja bikada aw istanada ilayhi ittakhadahu hujjatan lahu wa udran ittakhadahu hujjatan lahu wa udran meaning he took it as a hujja as a you know burhan as he says here as a evidence or proof wa udr and a justification or excuse and what's funny that reminds me now subhanallah of my first years is that we will do this we will do this whole process and they get to the arabic dictionary and not understand the definition that it gives you in the arabic dictionary like for example we, we don't understand ittakhadahu or hujja or udran so then we will go ahead and do the same process for udr and then it will give us in the definition a word that we won't understand and we will go ahead and search that word just to go back to the word that we originally wanted to know so that's something that again it brings me back to that's why it's important that you do this from someone who can lead you and guide you through the process that way you know make everything easier for you yes it is possible for you to do it by yourself but you will always have to refer back to someone to ask this to ask that to ask this like the main picture yes you're doing it by yourself and you just asking from time to time but if somebody can guide you like anything else in life it would shortcut it will make it easier but one thing that i recommend you not to do is use the english dictionary and just go ihtajja and then say oh ihtajja means offer as an excuse or take an exception or raise an objection or accept. because you don't know what context you are looking for now ihtajja you might not understand ta'allala bi or atarada ala or darrao it's just more confusing and i remember the first time i went to class with a uh, spanish arabic for those of you who don't know my first language is spanish my teacher he took it says no 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 we're not doing this here he took the dictionary from me he said don't even look at this dictionary and now i understand as a teacher my Myself, how harmful it is long term and i have seen students who already are speaking arabic and sometimes maybe even teaching arabic and they still refer back to their native language dictionary to arabic and that just doesn't make sense to me because at certain points yeah to like to reinforce what you have read in, in arabic and you want to know like in english how would they translate it etc etc for different reasons but not like the main translation like i just want to know the translation you go to the english dictionary is just harmful in the long term and it will make your classical Arabic weaker and in your understanding and that sixth sense that we were talking about in the previous video where I was saying that at one point you will be able to recognize what's correct and what's not correct without even looking into a dictionary that's not going to be developed if you keep looking into the Arabic and your native language dictionary and some of these things will just sound like Chinese but later on you guys will understand what I'm saying. To conclude this video, guys, you can learn Arabic by yourself, but you need certain skills. And these skills, like for example, the objective that we have for the students in, in Andalus Institute, once they join the program, is that to get them to native like fluency, if you go to Google and type, how much vocabulary do you need to be fluent? You will see that 10,000 plus words, at around 10,000 plus words in many languages, you have reached a near native level. And that's basically what you get in the Arabic like an Arab program. You get 10,000 plus lexical items plus you go over the main subjects of grammar and morphology giving you then once you have mastered all of this native like fluency which then you have by far and you are very comfortable in the skills you have gained to then learn Arabic by yourself because Arabic will never finish and you can enhance your Arabic and become better and increase your vocabulary etc and you are able to do that once you have these skills that in this case you gain through this program 
that you can gain through other methods and by yourself as well through asking all the time people which might not be the best and too convenient but it is possible so the conclusion of this is you can do it by yourself but you will still need to ask people at certain points and it's better for you to do it through a method system accountability that someone who has been through the process has set up that can guide you through the process and here is where just to you guys that if you guys are interested you know to book a call with us uh, it might be me or it might be someone from my team who might pick up the call but basically just follow the link in the description down below uh, i will bring you to a page it will ask for your name your email it will show you a 20 minute video where i explain everything more in detail and then you can book a call with us and we can talk about it it's just a discovery call to see where you add see if you are interested in the program see if you are a good fit for the program because sometimes some people we just tell them like no this is just not for you it's not gonna work so we will be straight up with you no pressure and yeah that's about it if you guys have enjoyed go ahead and put in the comments down below how to learn arabic by myself write that in the comments down below how to learn arabic by myself so i see the ones of you who have benefits so it motivates me even more to keep going and bringing this content for you guys and then just post another comment and ask me any question you might ouch you might want or um or any other question you might be interested in knowing the answer all right guys i really enjoyed going this video with you i'm pretty sure hassam the editor as well has enjoyed a lot <laughs> Shout out to you, Ya Hassam. I tried to do it not long to not make your job too difficult. But it is what it is. All right, guys. See you guys on the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace out.